The next menu is a special menu that is the settings by app. There, these are the few uh, parameters that we can set by software, external software, not the controller software, but, but ours. We have a version for Android, one for Windows Mobile, and another for Windows PC that you can set up by using the Bluetooth, all the parameters that you need to connect the cores to set a transmitting base, and others that we can see now, like the phone network. So this setting by app are made only when we are inside this menu, then the Bluetooth port is open to receive the signals to avoid that a misconfiguration is sent when we are in another mode by accident. So only in this menu, when we can see in real time this configuration, and we will go into detail on other videos, uh, we can set up these details. So, um, here we have the auto base. In this mode, uh, when we are in a UHF or Autocaster base mode, then the latitude and longitude that we get from the first fixed position of this GPS uh, will be began broadcasting to the rover as correction and the rover will have the chance to use it as it is or use the, ro the correction by rover on the software like Carson or TopView several uh, topographic or surveying software had it so you can do a millimeter correction only with Autobase mm, so it's very fast but in case that we have uh, another software or we have a very fixed point that we are using every time, then we can set this parameter to a known latitude and known longitude, and we can enter here in uh, and as, as degree uh, data. So the base will transmit with this data, and the rover will be already corrected at any moment. Here's the longitude, and we can also change the the protocol, of course, the, the uh, nowadays the best is RTCM3 uh, X because there are several versions. But uh, some older receivers of other brands may use RT RTCM2 for some reason, or we need to connect to a course that is different. So, in in the case of the base, we can change this protocol. The rover is not needed because the rover recognizes any automatically. So we can put RTCM3, RTCM2, uh, CRM, or CRM Plus. This is made by software. Here we have the Autocaster IP that is our server, autocaster.net. But however, you can have your own Autocaster server and uh, it will be configured here. And to operate, it has two ports one that is for in sending the data and one that is for receiving the data. It's very simple to set up. And for the, the course, we have also a place for the IP address, for the transmission from port from the course, the user, and the password. These are set by software. And then the stream is also selected in our app. When you connect to the course, these streams are retrieved from the server and you can feed it this directly to the server. So, let's say that you have set your receiver to operate as a rover with cores. When you start, all the data is already recorded onto your rover and you don't need to set up nothing from the PDA and you are straight to connect and work to fix. Then you can use your PDA and, and operate it, but it's not needed at all. You, uh, I mean, you are straight away to work since you start the receiver because it's already set internally. And that's all. This mode, remember, is uh, when you are in, inside the setting by app mode, the, U, the Bluetooth port is open and you can send the configuration only here. If you are not inside this menu, you cannot send the data. Then we have the dilution of precision. We enter here. We can see the PDOP, HDOP, and VDOP real time. And we have a, a, the straight from the receiver accuracy settings. And it's just for viewing when you have satellites. Then we can quit the menu. 
and we will be in the in the settings that we set with the UHF channel we set and the rover. And when we finish the the work, we we'll go to the same menu. We go to the last one that's power off, and we switch off. And that's all for the Smartos uh, introduction video. We will go into detail to everyone uh, of the menus and the settings for a specific purposes and how to set up the accessories on the receivers. Thank you.